Hi folks, how are you all doing today? Today we're gonna again start off with a mighty app inventor. I think it's like it's been ages now. <laughs> it feels like that, but yeah. So it's been more than a month that we haven't uh, we haven't touched uh, MIT App Inventor, right? So yeah, I'm back with another app. Actually, there are so many apps which we had to create, but uh, yeah, we stopped it in the meanwhile uh, for a change. And again, we are coming back to it. And uh, yeah, I'm so happy that I'm doing MIT App Inventor today. So we uh, and that was some some coolest app we are creating today, which is browser app. <laughs> okay so yeah i hope you all know what a browser is or a web browser is right so let me just uh, tell you about what a browser is today and then uh, we'll go ahead and see how to create a browser using app inventor and then we will see um how that works and yeah so this is all gonna be our today's session I am so very excited to start this. I'm, I'm so, so, so very excited to start this. Come on, let's get started without any delay. Without any delay, right? Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> okay. So starting off, starting off with browser app today. And um, yeah, this is going to be something very interesting and cool. So first, let me tell you about what is a browser, correct? So a browser is nothing but... Um, a tool or it's a software program which is coded to open any web page or a website right so anything online or uh, if you want to open then you definitely have to use some browser so to open now uh, web links we use browser correct so websites in the sense uh, which has some domain address correct like facebook.com uh, google.com youtube.com snapchat.com instagram.com so uh, like flipkart.com amazon.com and so many more right make my trip.com so likewise okay so there are so many apps uh, which you can use as um, uh, like sorry so many websites which you can use uh, which which are present currently and which we can open on any browser right like uh, examples of browsers are Google Chrome, Microsoft Edge, Safari, and then um, we have Opera, Mozilla Firefox, uh, and there are many more, many, many more, right? So these are few examples which I was citing, but yes, there are many more browsers which you have, uh, uh, which you have, but yeah, I, I mean, so the most uh, mostly used browsers are like Google Chrome, Microsoft Edge, right? So these are the ones and Safari and Mac, correct? So today we're going to create a browser app, okay? So when I say browser app, that means which you can use in your phone, mobile phone, right? So that's uh, that's what we are doing today, okay? And it's very, very, very simple. I must say this is very simple using a mighty app inventor because we have a component called this web viewer, okay? So this component, this web viewer component will make it very much easy for us to create a web browser in this, okay? Why and how? So just because a web viewer is a component which is used to open web links in the app, apps interface, okay? So if you know the link or if you can give the link over here, it would automatically open the same link in your app too, okay? So a web viewer is like a mini browser in the app. And we have this component in MIT App Inventor. It's like a boon for us, okay? So towards the right-hand side, you can see the properties. So you have height, width of the component, and there is a home URL thing, right? So in this home URL, you can put any URL to open it in your app, okay? Let's say I would just like to get uh, google.com, okay? So I'll just copy this and then I will paste it over here. So you can see we got the link, right? So I gave it as a home URL, right? So uh, when you're opening this in your app, okay, then when you execute this, it would automatically start with google.com only, okay? So it not only starts at google.com, it will be functional also because the website will be functional, isn't it? So that's it, that becomes a browser app, correct? We have a search engine also here now. So whatever you search, it will be opening that in the um, app, 
okay so let's say you manually want to type in the domain address and then you want to get something okay so you can absolutely do that too how how is that possible so without any coding we can actually absolutely go ahead like this to open the thing because you have the home url right so uh, let's say if you want to type and then if you want to search right so for such kind of a thing i'm just adding a horizontal arrangement on the top here So yeah, cool. I have added the ar arrangement and then I'll say align horizontal center, align vertical center and then uh, with fill parent. Okay. Now inside this, I would just want to add text box, text box to type in the domain, whatever you want to give, right? And button to just click on it to search for something. Okay. So I will rename this button one as the search button. And then I would want to write the text as search. And let's say font size 20. Background color, let's make it green. And text color, I would say dark green like uh, let's make it custom okay uh, oh sorry i have not clicked on okay done so yes that's it and font bold font italic we can also change this thing called as shape i would want rounded Font typeface, I think I want serif. Cool. That's it. Okay. And on the text box, you can say with 80%. Okay. Uh, let's say 70%. You can adjust it based on the screen size of your phone. Okay, so even that is possible. And then I think background color, let's change it to a light green because you know, that will uh, just go with the thing. So I would say I want this light green color. Cool. That's it. We are done. We are done with the design and uh, we don't need any other component for this to work, right? So let's quickly go to blocks. We just have something to code here because whenever you type something and then click on search, it has to open that on the web viewer, isn't it? So to do that, we actually have to uh, do something, okay? So I would say I will initialize a variable called as URL, okay? And then... Let's go to text and let's initialize with empty string first of all. And later on, we can add uh, text into this, right? So whatever the link you want to, you can add it. And then, so yes, let's, um, let's go to web search button. So when search button is clicked, then we would want to set the URL first, right? So set URL, global URL to whatever is coming from the text box text that we want to set it inside the URL, right? So text box text, okay? Not only setting in the URL is enough, we also have to set it on the web viewer, right? So let's go to web viewer, get this, get any dark green block, right? So set web viewers home URL to get global URL okay because whatever is inside url that would be coming in the web viewer now that's it so this is all this is all would actually um, give you the result right so this is a fully functional browser app now you don't need any other thing and this is how simple it is with mit app inventor isn't it don't you think so uh, browser like to open web links what all we have to do oh my god we uh, don't think of it like a complex way. It's, it's very simple, very, very simple, isn't it? So yes, this is all. This is all about our today's session, right? I will quickly execute this and I will show you guys so that you do not have any confusion. And um, 
I will definitely not be able to show you, but uh, show you the result on the screen. But definitely, I can scan it and I can tell you if it if, if it all result is uh, given or no, right? So let's quickly execute this and uh, check it out. So yes, wow. Oh my God, I should say, I should say this. It is actually showing me Google, uh, Google screen. Okay. And I think I can just search something over here. Wow. I'm just saying uh, carrot. Cool. It gives me the output result too. Let's say I'm just searching for MIT App Inventor. Or um, I think I will type some other link here. Yes, of course, our MIT App Inventor is, in, is working in Google, basically. But in the text box, we have to give some link, right? So I will say facebook.com, facebook.com, and then click on search. Oh my God, I'm shocked right now. It is actually showing me the Facebook login page, you know. Wow, it's too quick and it's absolutely perfect. I must say this, it's, it's absolutely perfect. You all can uh, try this out in your app, app inventors and test it manually by yourself. I must say it is cool, absolutely cool browser app. I've just disconnected, so yeah. This is about it and um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this session and you enjoyed this app creation. Uh, the browser app creation that too in a very simplistic way right so if you have any questions or concerns you can do let me know in the comment section below and yes so this was all for today from my side and i will be meeting you all in the next session thank you so much for watching this video and please do like comment share and subscribe to my channel folks have bye guys have a great day all